Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a love it or leave it. I've collected quite a few little pieces from brands that I haven't had time to do a full review for so got lots of mini reviews, got some favorites. If you're new here, love it or leave it are kind of my like I would say quarterly little act of wear check-in. I give you any quality updates, mini reviews of things I haven't gotten around to, favorites, etc. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like the love it or leave it videos and let's get into it. So this actually wasn't planned to be in my love it or leave it today but I just got a huge package from camo fitness so I'm not entirely sure when this launches yet but they redid their seamless so about a year ago they launched some seamless pieces they had these shorts as well as leggings and they were like a super stretchy seamless with a little like seam slash scrunch on the back so think kind of similar to amplifies but not exactly but in the same spirit of a scrunch seamless so like i said they had the shorts they had the leggings they were in pretty like neutral kind of boring colors if you ask me it was their first time doing seamless the quality just wasn't there i had one of mine rip in the crotch luckily i was not wearing it but that's the only time i've ever had a seamless thing like rip on me and this one also has a little run so they were okay for the price but they definitely had some improvements to make and these new ones they look improved it's now feeling like a slightly like denser but still thin seamless in cuter colors like I'm here for it and the sizing is updated as well in the old seamless it was like extra small small medium large kind of thing this one the ones they sent me are just straight up smalls so i think that they have a better size range which i've never been a big fan of half sizes to begin with but i'm super excited about these colors so we have stormy weather kind of a little dusty blue dark sea which is this like deep teal always a favorite chocolate tort which is a nice little brown kind of a deep brown but i i'm Personally, big fan of browns. And Windsor Wine, which I feel like I've heard that color name before. I don't know where, but I feel like I've heard it. So these are the EOS Seamless. So they have the EOS Seamless leggings and the EOS Seamless shorts. Just measured the short inseam and they are a five inch inseam. With this kind of seamless design, I tend to like to pull up a lot of the fabric around the glutes so that you can get the scrunch where it needs to be. So I tend to lose a little length when I do that. So I usually like maybe a bit longer than a five inch, but we will test these out at the gym, see how they work. And the leggings, I measured about a 24 inch inseam, but usually with this this kind of seamless legging you get a ton of vertical stretch so I find that even when I have shorter inseams on seamless leggings I still tend to make them basically full length for me so we have a thick ribbed waistband with some panel detailing on the side pretty compressive waistband so here's the waistband up close and then you have this kind of like ribbed panel detailing almost kind of reminds me of a Gymshark Vital Seamless in that panel detailing extends down the leg as well. And then you do have an embroidered K logo. This is a Camo Fitness logo. It's a little bold, but at least the K isn't like too big. And then you have the star of the show, the scrunch detail. So this is just a stitched type scrunch detail and it just attaches right above the gusset. So not directly to the gusset. And these look like they'll be pretty thick thigh friendly. Oh my God, mine literally have a hole in them. Guys, better be doing better quality than last time. Okay, they have a hole. Did I do that? I did not do that. You know, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt because these were the only color that I took out of the packaging and left it on my couch for a while. And Pinto and Peach do like to be on this couch. I'll make sure the other ones don't have any problems, but that does make me a little bit suspicious because I didn't love the quality last time. Anyway, these feel super stretchy and soft. Um, let's give them a try. Okay guys, so these are the first shorts that I've tried on and I will say that they're running, I'm a little disappointed. They're running very small. So I'm gonna try on a different color because I know sometimes different colors um, feel a little bit differently, but I was expecting a little more thick thigh friendliness just cause Alpha Elite Amplify shorts are like so thick thigh friendly, so stretchy. These I'm definitely getting some resistance and like some pretty bad cutting in. Like it's, it's pretty bad back here. So that is definitely not super comfortable. It fits in the waist pretty snugly, definitely a high rise. Um, I like the little panel detailing. I think it's like a little bit different. The material maybe isn't quite as stretchy as their last seamless material. Um, and then here's the back, definitely still getting that scrunch effect. I did have to work it into the glutes a little bit, but definitely still high on the booty scale. Um, you're getting that scrunch, it's not super visible. But yeah, let's try on a different color and see if it's better because so far these are running pretty small and I don't know the exact size range of this 
specific short for camo, but most of their items only go up to like an XL. So if I'm sizing up to a medium, that's just kind of lowering the size range a little bit. So I hope that maybe this one is just not, not fitting quite the same as the rest. Okay, so here are the shorts in the lightest color and it definitely does feel like I have a little more space in this one, but I'm still getting the same, like cutting into the thighs. I hope that you can see that these are definitely cutting in compared to a looser short. Yeah, just not quite as thick thigh friendly. They're pretty snug everywhere, to be honest. Like obviously I have room like in the main part because that's where the fabric is stretchiest, but the waist is a little bit snug too. So I think these do run a size small. I personally would prefer a medium. We'll try on the leggings and see if I feel the same about those, but let's review these otherwise. So nice high rise, definitely um, a compressive waistband. Overall compression would probably be like light to medium, but I am getting compressed in the thigh area. So I'm talking about everywhere else. Looks like decent opacity. We will squat test these. You can kind of see the line of detailing going down the leg a little bit more here. And then I do think the scrunch does do a really good job, especially compared to the last scrunch, which I felt like didn't really go into the glutes very much, kind of more sat on top. This one definitely is high on the booty scale and I'm actually liking the length. So I will um, post these on my Instagram story and I will work out in these, but we might actually be safe from rolling, hard to tell, but um, I don't know, sometimes when they're really compressive in the thighs, it makes them roll a little bit more, so we'll see. But yeah, main things, um, size up in the shorts and flattering on the glutes. I really like the material overall. I just really wish the thigh seam was better because that's like the only thing. Everything else feels super soft and really good. Okay, we did just do a couple squats. Just a teeny bit of rolling, but very, very minimal. Wanted to try on the brown for good measure. These feel very similar to the Stormy Sea and stretchiness. So a little stretchier than the Windsor Wine, but still got the thighs. Still got the thighs. Okay, so after trying on all the colors of the shorts, um, the Black Beauty, which is the color I'm wearing right now, as well as the Windsor Wine are definitely the most compressive and restrictive, especially in the shorts. So the thigh area was actually snug on my calves getting them up. So these just run super small, super tight, and I definitely won't be able to wear this black size small personally to the gym. Okay, so leggings are fitting a bit better. So we definitely have a good amount of compression in the waistband, so I still would say size up if in between, but I'm feeling like I could wear the small a lot more easily than I could wear the small shorts. So um, compressive waistband, overall compression is actually about a medium. Um, I feel a little bit of tightness in the glute area, so Still get a high on the booty scale and still room for the glutes in here, but um, I definitely am feeling a little bit of wedgie going on, which is to be expected with this kind of legging, but uh, some are stretchier than others. So the ribbed detailing in the line contour goes to just above the knee for me. And even though these were a little bit shorter, as you can see, they're basically a full length because of the vertical stretch. I feel like this color, you can see the marl really well. So these fabrics are all marled. And yeah, definitely flattering. Um, a little bit of cellulite coverage as well with the marl, but not a ton. And yeah, I'm just getting a little more tightness um, throughout the crotch area than I would in like the Amplify leggings, but I definitely prefer the leggings to the shorts, which is upsetting because I just definitely don't want to wear leggings too much right now because it's summer. And something I feel like camo always misses out on is we never get enough sports bras to go with the bottoms. I like to wear somewhat of a cohesive set, even if it's not like completely matching. And I just feel like we never get enough tops from camo. I mean, we get we get tops, but personally I prefer a sports bra because I'm probably wearing these to the gym and I like to keep a sports bra, not a top. Yeah, I definitely would still recommend these. Quality is definitely looking better than the previous launch, but I will keep you guys updated on Instagram as I wear these before launch and update you guys if I notice any issues with quality. Now I'll just insert a little side-by-side -side detail of the old seamless versus the new. So the new seamless have a slightly taller waistband, definitely in the front. They have that panel detailing on the side that the old ones did not have. The fabric is slightly marled on these new ones and it was just solid on the last ones. And the scrunch on the last ones were definitely quite a bit longer. As you can see, the new ones are quite a bit more scrunched and the old ones, I found that they stretched out quite a bit after just one wear and in general, it was just a longer scrunch. So definitely liking these new ones. The old ones were six inch inseam though, which I would have liked to see out of these new ones instead of the five. Next, I got some stuff from Popflex. So Popflex is one of those brands where 
I continue to get comments and messages from you guys and you're like, try Pop Flex, try Pop Flex, as if I didn't post a review of them just a couple months back. Not, not even that long ago. I'm like, guys, it would be nice if you could just check. But I got a couple new things from them, some things I'm actually a pretty big fan of. So let's start with this bra because I really like this. This is from their Neon Garden collection. Sometimes I'm not a big fan of bras that just have the straps kind of sewn on. But in this case, I feel like it really worked. I had great coverage in this bra, cute little mesh detail. The straps are just this thick elastic, but still soft. So nice and supportive, but they don't cut in and they just crisscross in the back and the little colors tie into the shorts. First, let's try this one on. Okay, here's the bra. I don't know, this one just exceeded my expectations. So first of all, it has this little like delicate floral detail. It does kind of match the color of the shorts, but it's like a light mesh. It does have this little like peekaboo cutout detail. So you can see like a little bit of cleavage between it, but I feel like most people wouldn't notice it. It is a mesh, but the inside is completely lined with like a softer material because sometimes mesh can get a little bit itchy, so it's not itchy at all. I really actually like how thick and supportive these straps are. I'm fully covered, no side boob, no cleavage, so full coverage, solid medium support, and I would also say true to size, and it is just a, an elastic bottom sports bra, not a long line. And then the back just has little crisscross straps, but just really a big fan of the shape of this bra. I keep reaching for it. Then we have the shorts. These shorts, I wanted to like them a little bit more. I really liked the length of them because they're a nice seven inch inseam, which is hard to find as well as no front seam. But the fabric, I feel like isn't holding up very well. Here's the fabric up close. I have worn these like one time and I just feel like the fabric is getting a little, a little pilly. It does happen sometimes with these brushed fabrics. So personally, it's not a huge deal, but I just feel like it's maybe a little bit quick. No top band. Um, the seams on Popflex, they haven't quite gotten them down yet. They make them too low. So I wish they would improve that. And these ones felt a little small for me. I felt a little bit sausage legs. So we'll try it on and see. So here are the shorts, just something about them. I, I just feel like they're running a little bit small. So I really wanted to like these because of the length. But yeah, definitely getting some cutting into the thighs, not enough stretch down here for me. Um, they are a good length in terms of like them not rolling up, at least not likely. Um, could be a teeny bit higher for me. These are more like mid to high rise, but at least there's no seam at the top, no front seam. And as you can see, it's just like not super flattering on the glutes. Yeah, I mean, I liked the shorts because they went with the bra but they just fell a little bit short for me. I would personally size up to a medium in these. But this top, I love a good like semi cropped length top, especially if it's super lightweight for summer. And they just have this like little like mesh kind of see through top with some cute little seam details as well. But this alongside the Buff Bunny um, rainforest crop have been like my go to summer tops. So I really like this one. Okay, and then this little mesh top, as you can see, it is like slightly see through, but still does give you coverage and almost allows you to kind of show off your sports bra color underneath. But I really like the cropped length of this. It goes right to the top of your legging waistband. Obviously you will show a little skin when you raise your arms. It's kind of like a drop shoulder and the sleeves are pretty long. They're like a half sleeve, not just like a T. It does have a solid material up at the neck. So again, nice and soft against your skin and has some little seam lines on the back as well. I did have a discount code with Popflex at one point. They gave me one after I did my last review. So I'll see if they can activate it for me when I post this video because there are definitely some highlights. I'm definitely I'm definitely liking these top pieces. And Popflex has been making a lot of little one pieces. And listen, I, I don't quite get why the one pieces are so popular. I just I feel like I personally just don't look great in them. I think part of it is my long torso, but in general, I just don't really know if they're like the most flattering. I don't know. Anyways, so I thought this one would be slightly better because I think this is called like the runzy romper or something because it has like a little cutout to kind of break up the like onesiness of it. And it's a little flowy shorts at the bottom instead of just like a snug short or legging. So I have tried this on, but let's put it on again. So here is the romper. And I actually think that this is cuter than a lot of one pieces that I've seen so far because I like that it has the little like, it's almost like an active dress in a way because it has like a little flowiness to the bottom. So it's like a flowy running short attached to a bodysuit. Personally, it just isn't working for my long torso. I'm feeling a little bit weighed down instead of like lifted up, especially in this like 
bust region, but I feel like for most people, this would be just fine. It does have an underwear shaped lining, so you will get a little bit of an underwear line. But other than that, I feel like this is a nice, like flowy, almost windbreaker type material. The cutout kind of breaks things up a bit and it does have cut pads. There's no true elastic in there, so you're not quite getting the lift of a bra but you still have the cut pads and it's pretty compressive. So I feel like if my torso was a little bit shorter, this would be okay for support. I wouldn't go running in it, but maybe like a light to medium. And then the straps are pretty similar to the bra we just tried, like a thick elastic covered with a softer fabric. So pretty supportive, but also still soft. And I'm just getting a teeny bit of gaping in the back here. That kind of happens with like one piece swimsuits with me quite a bit because something about the fit of them and my long torso. Would I consider wearing this? Sure. I think I would recommend it just maybe if you're not quite as tall as me. Okay, I have a couple more pop flex things. These ones I have not yet tried on. So first is this little bra. It has rhinestones on it. This is giving me flashbacks to my dance competition days, which, you know, I love some parts of my dance days, but the rhinestones, I just don't know if that's if that's part of it, but at least it's black on black, so it's a little more subtle. The fabric is very soft, so let's give this one a try. Okay, so here's the bra. Sometimes some of these plunging bras are just a little too much. I definitely feel like I would get a little too much spillage at the gym. Um, it's also like a little more of like a wide plunging bra, so, I just feel like I'm kind of spilling into the middle a little bit too much, but the fabric is super soft. There is a band at the bottom, feel nice and secure, definitely true to size. Um, cute if you do like the rhinestones, but I wonder how secure they are. Yeah, th th those are glued on there pretty well. And then the back is just a simple razor back. It's not cutting in anywhere. I actually really like how lightweight, stretchy and soft this fabric is. It's kind of like, almost feels like the Tom Tiger material in a, in a way. So just very naked feel, but yeah like a low, low support, low coverage, maybe for more of like a light impact day. Okay, and last brand of the day that we're going to do some mini reviews is from Ever Forward. So they sent me some stuff like a while back and I don't know why I have not tried it on yet, probably because it was mostly leggings. And to be honest, like, I don't know guys, I've been feeling a little, a little unmotivated to film lately, mostly because it's really hot. And the idea of trying on like 10 pairs of leggings, just like, really pains me. It's difficult. During the winter, sure, I'll try on leggings. But in the summer, all I wanna wear is shorts. So we're gonna start it out with what I thought was the cutest thing. This little bra, I thought this was super cute. It has like these little seam details, kind of like a bustier type top. It has like a hidden elastic along the bottom. And I just thought this was such a cute little top and I don't really see a lot of sports bras like this. The straps are also adjustable. They're not, they're not, <laughs> they're not adjustable. They just have little, like a little ring detail could have made it adjustable but whatever and the back is pretty plain let's try this on okay this top so cute and great coverage i actually i'm actually a huge fan so first of all i really love the color love a little mauve um i had the idea to pair this with the kind of burgundy um camo shorts i feel like it's a good little combo so first of all a lot of compression and support I would say true to size if you want a high compression, but size up if you're in between. Personally, I do like to be compressed in my sports bras, so I like the size small here. We're getting a solid like medium to high support, very surprisingly. Um, the straps are a little bit tight, so um, I could see this potentially cutting in over time, um, but they are pretty soft straps, so I feel like I could still make it through a workout without it bothering me, but keep that in mind if you have really developed traps. This might not be the bra for you, but we have full side boob coverage and it's still soft in there. So I'm not feeling like it's cutting into my armpits. I'm just feeling fully covered and just like a teeny bit of cleavage on top. So we're going to go with medium to full coverage maybe because one time someone was like, I don't know how you could say it has cleavage. It would still be full coverage, but like you can, you know, like if it like pushes the girls up, I, I still think this is full coverage. Like where's the chance of me falling out of this? It doesn't exist. Love the little seams. So they're super subtle, but it just gives me like kind of mermaid princess vibes. I don't know, but I like it. And then here's the back. Very simple. Definitely is snug in some places, but the snugness of the band with a combination of like the density of the fabric just is making it a very supportive bra. And sometimes I just feel like a lot of activewear isn't really made to kind of hold in the girls. And this is just holding them in. So 
I love it. I'm definitely gonna wear this to the gym. To go with that, they just have this little tank that you can wear over top. These pieces are all a pretty dense brushed material. Another reason why I wasn't super excited about trying them on, but this is the top. It has a little laser cut detailing kind of around the side and the back. Okay, and here's a little tank to layer over it. So it's pretty snug, true to size if you want a pretty compressive snug fit or size up. Um, reminds me a lot in shape of the Buff Bunny Aurora crop, but we do have some little laser cut details, just very subtle, you almost can't even really see them. But yeah, just a single layer tank, um, no belt and bra, so you would have to wear a bra under this. And depending on the bra you're wearing underneath, it might peek through. Be mindful of which bras you're pairing underneath it. And then the leggings. They're actually a pretty cute legging design. So I'm a little worried about how heavy this fabric is because sometimes with a heavy fabric plus leggings, kind of weighs them down a little bit too much. But other than that, we have no front seam, no top band, and the glute seams are curved so they should be flattering on the glutes still so uh, they're they're looking pretty good and the quality feels nice let me give you an up close of the fabric so here's the fabric up close it is like a dense brush material very thick so there should be no reason to question the squat proofness of this because i don't think i can't even see any light through so the inside is not brushed by the way Kind of a sleeker on the inside, brush on the outside. Okay, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with these leggings. So first of all, we're getting a high compression. This fabric is very dense, very compressive, but they, it still has a lot of stretch to it. So compressive, but not restricting. No front seam. It's not super high rise. It's like a mid to high, which I feel like would be good for most people, I have a very long torso, so I feel like this is a good length. You might get some cellulite coverage in these because of how thick and dense the fabric is, but it's still pretty flattering on the glutes because you have the seams going above the glutes, so medium high booty scale. And I'm gonna need to measure the inseam on these, but these might be a 28 inch inseam, which I feel like is so hard to find in activewear brands right now. So yeah, definitely feels like more of a winter legging to me, but with the compression of these and the amount of hold I'm getting right now, I actually do feel like they would stay up really well and not slide down. So. So far, these are actually a really nice legging and I'm pretty impressed. And then I also got a tie-dye set from them. So this one's also brushed, but it's a little bit less soft than the last one. And I felt like this when I took this out of the packaging initially, I kind of thought it would go away, but it definitely smells. I don't know what it smells like, but potentially like fabric dyes or something. So I would probably wash this before wearing, which I don't do before all of my clothing, but I probably should. Anyways, we have this little square neck sports bra elastic on the bottom. I'm liking that they're like elastic bottom sports bras, not long line because I just sometimes feel like I have too many long line sports bras. Nice thick straps. Looks like it'll be decent coverage. The inside does have seams to separate the cup pads. Okay, here's the bra. Again, really good coverage. So Ever Forward is definitely large cup size friendly in terms of coverage and pretty good support as well. I would say this is also a solid medium. Good side boob coverage. I would give this one definitely a full coverage. Got a little square neckline. Cup pads are nice, elastic at the bottom, true to size, but again, maybe a little snug, so I would size up if in between, and then just very simple in the back. And yeah, this material feels about the same thickness as the solid colored one, but maybe slightly less brushed, and yeah, I'm just really weirded out by like the smell of these. It doesn't smell bad, it just smells a little off. I'm gonna wash them and see if that helps. I'm a little nervous to wash them because they are tie-dyed, and I sometimes worry that like, tie-dye things are gonna bleed in the wash, so maybe I'll wash them separately. Here's the back straight on, definitely a solid bra. And then the leggings, I'm not too sure about these leggings. Um, first thing I'm not sure about is that they have one of those designs, kind of like the original Buff Bunny Loch Ness leggings that they ended up changing, um, but they don't have any waistband or anything, or I mean, there's technically a waistband, but there's no seams to separate the waistband in the front. It's, it's an interesting look. I'm not really sure it's my thing. And they do have a top band at the front of the waistband here, but not anywhere else. So at least it's not on the sides to cut in. And then they just have some seam detailing down the leg, down the back, and it does look like a true dye not a print. So this is a dyed fabric. So I just feel like dyed fabrics tend to look a little more um, fun, unique, and I just prefer a dye to a fake tie-dye print, if that makes sense. Okay, here are the leggings. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just not loving this little waistband situation. I feel like it looks less awkward because of the tie-dye, but sometimes not having that waistband just looks a little awkward. It does have the sewn 
stitch just in this very front region, which I feel like should be laying like this. But if you mess with it at all, the seam just wants to completely show. So it's just not sitting quite right for me. These also aren't staying up super well. I think just because they don't really have like a solid waistband to them, they just feel like they're sliding down a bit. Um, solid medium high compression, got some seam lines. So almost like a Buff Bunny Legacy kind of seam line here. And then it kind of comes down and like stops there as well, but it's not going above the glutes. So these are just getting a medium on the booty scale. Not quite as good as the last ones. Definitely cellulite coverage, but yeah, just don't feel like these are the most flattering shape. I much preferred the other ones. These ones look a little bit shorter, maybe like a 25 inch inseam too. Okay, now we are done with mini reviews and we're moving on to favorites. In terms of activewear favorites, I don't think that much has changed over the past, um, few months since the last Love It or Leave It. But in a couple of videos recently, I had mentioned that I have some favorite like underwire bras that I like, and you guys have been very curious about what are my favorite ones. So bras are very hard, therefore I've only had two bras that I've truly ever loved in my life, and I just continue to buy them. So I am a crazy person, and I do actually find um, just regular underwire bras to be very comfortable. I'm just not into the whole like bralette, like seamless bra, Thing for like out and about. I just don't feel like I get a lot of shape, support, like nippage coverage. And I feel like the bands have to be so tight to get any support on them where I feel like the bras that I actually wear, I just feel like they're, they're solid. So this is probably my number one favorite bra ever. This is the Felina Aubrey bra. And actually my mom introduced this one to me because she also has a larger cup size. So we share the same struggles. But I started out buying this one at Nordstrom Rack and now I find it on Amazon for like 30 bucks. So the brand is Felina. I wear 32 triple D. And this one is a very full coverage bra, but it also, as you can see, just like provides a good amount of shape as well. The straps, you can change them from like crisscross. You can take them off, like both the front and the back part of the strap is totally like removable. Straps are fully adjustable all the way around to the front. And I've gone through a ton of these bras just because I wear them like every day. So I probably get a new one like every six months or so after they just, they get a little worn, a little stretched out. I still usually keep the old one. Then I just don't really wear it as much if that makes sense. But if you have a large cup size and you just have not had good luck with bras, I remember I have tried 32 triple D's from like Victoria's Secret in the past, which is a hard, size to even find from them, but I was like spilling out all over the place. Like those, I don't feel like we're very true to size. This one has a lot of space in the cups. It doesn't come in very many fun colors though, especially once you get to the larger sizes. So I used to be able to find it in like a maroon color, but um, that was back when I was like a double D in like, you know, early high school. But now that I wear a triple, I really only get like the nude and the black and the gray. And the only other bra that I've really been able to find and love is, I believe this is just like the classic t-shirt bra from Third Love. So I honestly fell victim to the advertising from Third Love and I liked that you could just like order a bunch of sizes and find the best one for you. And they have a really great size range. So I tried like a 30 quadruple D, I tried a 34 double, I tried a 32 double, then a 32 triple. And then I ended up just back at the 32 triple D. Like that's just the size that has fit me best in most bras. And this one, this one is an old bra. I got this one, gosh, senior year of college. And now I'm in my fourth year of dental school basically. So this is like four years old. And I will say my Felina bras do not last quite as long as this one. And I also don't feel like this one has really stretched out over time. Like I still have been feeling like this one fits me. Okay, technically this is a 32F but it's like the same thing. Some things I don't absolutely love about this one is you do get a little less shape than the Felina bra, which sometimes that makes it more comfortable, but sometimes since this isn't quite as structured, I can get a tiny bit of nippage on occasion. So this one is not quite as thick in the padding section. Neither of them are padded. They're just like, you know, single lined padding, but still. And you can only adjust part of the strap. And I just feel like that's such a waste. Like I always tighten my straps like a good amount. I must just have like a shorter upper torso or something. But the whole front part of this bra, you can't adjust. You can only adjust the back half. The straps are also not removable. So you can't crisscross the back like you could for the Felina bra. And this one only has a two hook closure in the back. The Felina was a three hook. But personally, I just, I don't really feel like that has made a big difference. But I'm honestly, I'm kind of inspiring myself to buy a new one of these because it really has lasted so long. And this one is also, I feel like slightly less coverage than the Felina one. Sometimes the Felina one is just like 
so full coverage you're like okay i can use a little bit less this one's like slightly less but truly like a comfortable bra that i love wearing every day and it has lasted a really long time a little pricier than the other one but I, I think it's lasted at least twice as long since we're on the undergarment trend i'll talk about another favorite so we've been through what underwear i like to wear to the gym but to sleep i do not like to wear thongs i like to have a little more coverage and i have been buying airy underwear for so long now and i just really love how it fits but for a long time i was just getting the regular rise boy briefs but i recently got the high rise ones so i thought that these were fun because i love a high rise and this material in particular is just my favorite real me high-waisted boy brief exactly so the boy briefs in the real me material my absolute fave so stretchy so stretchy they keep their shape really well i have some other airy underwear that you wear it for like a little while and then it stretches out. But the real me shape is so good. It's got really good coverage in the back, stays put, and this is just one of my faves. And then I also just got these ones, which were new. This is the high cut bikini underwear, but it almost looks like a swimsuit, but I swear it's not. Um, but it's just like this stretchy ribbed material. I haven't dabbled into that much high-waisted underwear, but I don't know, I'm feeling it. And my last favorite, because apparently we're not doing any activewear favorites, I don't have them right now. If you have not yet tried the True Fru dark chocolate covered raspberries, your, your life will literally be changed like i am a dessert gal through and through and i don't consider like fruit to be dessert you know when people are like oh i just had like you know a handful of strawberries for dessert that's not dessert for me that's a snack but as soon as you incorporate like some other elements into a dessert like like chocolate or something then then it can be considered dessert anyways the dark chocolate covered raspberries so they're frozen they're a little frozen almost like freeze-dried but still like moist raspberries and i found them at target but my mom found them at costco and she was immediately addicted and even my brother was like really liking them and he doesn't even like dessert or fruit really they're just so good okay i can't believe i almost forgot my true favorite of the past like month or two these ododos bell bags they look like the lululemon ones they're 70 dollars on amazon and they're honestly amazing so i literally just bought the black one but as you can see brand is ododos and if you've been around here for a while we have tried ododos um they have like leggings and stuff on amazon too so i got the ivory color first and it is a true belt bag has that little little belt snap closure but i wanted a bag like this because when i'm running errands i'm usually wearing like some sort of athleisure and having like a regular crossbody purse just like didn't really go with the vibe of the fit but having this little like sporty belt bag i know it's technically a belt bag so you wear it on your hips whatever wear things how you want them it actually has a lot of space so there's the main pocket it has two mesh pockets on either side so i can fit my phone my wallet in here some other stuff and then it also has this little pocket on the back of it where usually i put either like a chapstick or my keys or something just to keep it organized but i just love these things so that's the ivory and i haven't gotten a chance to wear the black one yet just so sleek they come in so many colors um they come in like solid colors like the ones i have or some with like a slightly different like strap or buckle color but i kind of like the solid ones so highly recommend okay guys i think that's it for the video i really don't have any quality updates that i have noticed recently everything's been holding up pretty well i will say i did have peach scratch me through a pair of my amplifiers earlier today because she was on the counter she fell off her nail hit my leg and i have a scratch from that Oh my gosh, it's so much worse than I thought. But the amplifiers, they're actually completely fine. Like literally not even a hole in them. So I was kind of surprised because I do consider those like a pretty delicate legging. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.